everyone, I'm Arthur here. Um, I would like to introduce you to a bill that I never thought I would, uh, I would uh, publish, and that is my Magica Sorcerer for PvE. Now, the channel is uh, mainly focused on PvP, in fact, it's exclusively focused on PvP, but I felt um, the need of applauding this build uh, because at the end of the day, if you want to PvP in this game, you need to be prepared to do some PvE. So, I want to introduce you to my main character, the character that I have uh, started with almost three years ago. And um, um, a build that has been really, really effective over the years. And that is still very, very much uh, effective for VMA. Now, you will notice it's a Magicka Sorcerer, uh, but it's not a pet build. I really can't stand those, those builds. They're just too easy and too, I don't know, too cheesy for me. Uh, if, if that works for you, by, by all means, keep on using them. Uh, you're certainly not forbidden for doing what you enjoy. Um, but this is not what I play with. I, I, I'd rather play without pets. But this build, you will find that it's um, quite easy and laid back, particularly for VMA. Now, this build, now it's specifically designed for VMA, also the way I've arranged my champion points, as you will see later on. And um, yes, I'm not um, uh, an expert PvE -ers. Um, in fact, I'm not an expert PvP -er either. Uh, but with this build, I still managed to complete uh, Veteran Maelstrom uh, without too much hassle, even though I'm not using any pets. So um, um, let's let's get started by looking at uh, my character uh, sheet. Uh, let me just first buff up. Right, so these are my stats, um, decent magicka pool, decent magicka recovery and uh, decent spell damage, almost 3k and almost 50% spell critical. Now I know that they, these stats don't look very impressive, but let me tell you that hidden uh, within all this is pen uh, spell penetration and I almost reached the cap. In fact, you could reach the cap and go be, uh, above and beyond it if you wanted. Um, so I've, I've got, as it is now, 15k spell penetration that gives me really a lot of, a lot of uh, oomph, a lot of power against, um, against VMA mobs. I'm a vampire. Uh, now I'm still a stage 4. Um, I can manage. Uh, being stage 4 even though I go solo in VMA and there's a lot of fire on a number of times but if you were to have problems with this uh, I would advise you to um, take it down to stage 2 or even stage 1 now the reason why I also have so much penetration is because of uh, this Moonstone, the Lover which adds oh, more than 4k spell penetration and I use the Witch Mother's Potent Brew for, uh, for sustain and obviously I've got Major Prophecy on all the time. Now, something good about this build is that you won't need any pots because your, magic, your, your Major Sorcerer and your Major Prophecy, they all come from your skills. So all the pots that you will need are either the standard Magicka ones that you find in two mobs when you kill them, which are the ones that I use, or try that when you need to have a little bit of stamina back as well. So the, this is my uh, stat sheet, uh, let us take a look at my inventory. Now, on my front and back bar, I've got double lightning st uh, staves. Um, what you want to do, especially for your back bar, is to have a VMA lightning staff, Nern Hunt, uh, possibly, uh, and, uh, and a sharpened one at the front. Uh, now things will be changing with the next patch, so may, possibly at the front you will want a crafted one. Um, or uh, no, actually no, you can still use uh, a VMA um, sharpened lightning staff at the f uh, on your front bar, because with the next patch you you will be able to put um, um, to put enchants on it without suppressing the special ones. Uh, but in any case, it won't make any difference. At the front, it can be anything. Ideally, though, at the back, you want a Maelstrom Lightning Staff Nern Hunt. Uh, I don't have it because my luck is just terrible. I've done VMA so many times and yet, 
all I could get <laughs> were all the other weapons apart from the lightning staff. I still haven't found one. So this is for the stays. I, I don't use any any poisons. Then I use Elambris as um, as my monster set. Now Elambris is just is just the best, hands down. You know this is the best set that you can use on a magic sorcerer. Um, it's great for one single target for AOE. It's just amazing, and it gives you max magic as well. Then I've got five piece Julianos. I run a five one one. Everything is in divine. And then I have the necklace of willpower, uh, sorry, the jewelry of, of willpower as my as my second set. Now um, let's take a look at the skills very quickly. Front bar. I've got empowered ward, not hardened ward, because this one lasts a bit longer and uh, grants me 10% magical recovery for 10 seconds, um, which really helps since this um, this ward is up basically all the time. Then I've got Inner Light for Max Magica and uh, Major Prophecy. Crystal Fragments, Crushing Shock. Now you can run the other morph which does a bit more damage um, and I would recommend you using it if you, if you uh, fancy playing with that, if you can play with it easily. Um, I don't like it because I prefer this one because this one interrupts and especially in VMA there's a few mobs, there's a few monsters and bosses that you need to interrupt and uh, sometimes you will not be close enough or you will be uh, rooted or you will be whatever, you won't be able to get to them and, um, and interrupt them um, and, and you will most probably die. So I rather prefer prefer crushing shot now this build is not gonna make you break any, any dps records or any time records you know this is to just get vma done easily without fuss you know without stress so crushing shock is my favorite here endless fury then as an execute it's really powerful and it gives you magicka back and then i've got energy overload as my uh, ultimate on my front bar I only use it for my third bar, okay, and uh, on my third bar, again, I've got Empowered War to protect me while I use Dark Conversion to recover some Magicka. Then I've got Streak and Boundless Storm that you can pre-cast at the beginning of every round um, to, um, to just um, give you a bit more uh, protection and also DPS. <coughs> Then on my back bar, I've got Hannes Magica again, shield. He also gives me Magica back uh, when I get hit by spells. Uh, Power Surge for Major Sorcery, Blockade of Storms, and Liquid Lightning. You want to make sure that everything is lightning um, because of uh, the off-balance um, exploit that, that I'm going to talk to you about when I get to the CP. And then fun finally, Thunderous Rage. Now... If you are uh, uh, if you are skilled enough and you are happy with using just one uh, shield in the front bar, instead of harness magicka, you could put elemental drain, uh, which gives you magicka back. Okay, applies magicka steel and um, and as well applies major breach. Um, which basically amounts to 5,280 uh, spell penetration. That's really great against against the bosses. Um, so I would really encourage you to do that if you are happy to play with only one shield. Uh, but if not, just uh, use Harness Magicka here. Now, let us move on to the champion points. Okay, for my... Champion points here are they are laid out. 43 into Mooncalf for stamina recovery, which is still uh, quite useful in VMA as you will be getting stunned and rooted and all sorts of things. You will have to do some roll dodging, especially uh, in the last stage. Uh, uh, 75 into Air Canist for 14% magical recovery. And then I've got a few points in here uh, to increase the magical. Um, uh, the magic, the magic I get restored with fully full heavier um, attacks. Um, 
Then I've got uh, 49 into Tumbly and 26 into Shadow Ward. Now, uh, you may ask yourself, why do I have these many points in here? It's because I want to unlock um, this passive treasure hunter, which increases the quality of items that you find in treasure chests. And that includes the chests that you get in VMA, especially the last one. Um, if you couldn't care less about this, uh, having 75 points in here, you could certainly put more in tenacity and, um, and anything else. Um, so it's it, this is optional, this is just how I like playing it. Then I've got 37 points into Elfborn, uh, 37 in Spell Erosion, 43 into Elemental Expert, 28 into Master at Arms, and then 75 into Taumaturge. Now, Taumaturge is quite, uh, quite important, not only because you do a lot of damage with your uh, Liquid Lightning and um, Elemental Blockade, but you want to reach 75 points in here to unlock the Exploiter Passive, which increases your damage done against off-balance enemies by 10%, which is a lot. Now, any lightning damage has a chance to proc uh, off-balance. So this is why I run a double lightning uh, uh, staff. Um, so you want to make sure to have your lightning damage go going out all the time. Uh, in order to benefit from this, this passive. I've got 37 points into Ironclad, 23 into, into Thick Skinned, 43 into a Hardy, 43 into Elemental Defender. If you were having a bit of problems being a vampire against fire, either get rid of your vampirism if you can live without uh, uh, the extra magical recovery, or just put more points into Elemental Defender. Um, and that should help you out with uh, with your survivability. Then I've got 72 points into Bastion and uh, one into Expert Defender. So um, this is it. This is the build and this is my little house. I wanted to <laughs> experiment a little bit with uh, uh, the housing and uh, I bought the St. Delin's penthouse uh, with a Morrowind expansion. It only cost me, I think, a thousand gold or something like that. Very cheap. And then I started playing around with it. Uh, unfortunately, ever since the last patch launched, um, I've been having issues uh, displaying this um, boiler uh, in the right way. But anyway, this is my Dwemer lab. And um, I don't know, <laughs> tell me if you like it. And uh, so yeah, there you, there you go. This is, um, this is my build, my Magicka Sorcerer for PvE, uh, specifically designed for VMA, um, but you can easily use it in other, um, in other contexts, you can use it in Trials, you can use it uh, for, your, uh, for the Undaunted uh, quests, you can do it for any kind of, of PvE. Um, anyway, this is Amorpho, if you like this kind of content, and if you would like to see a bit more PvE, content just let me know in the comments i've got another pve build it's a magic night blade which is really great it's quite it's really awesome especially in group um so let me know if you would like to see a bit more pve content um and uh, and leave a like and a subscribe if, if you like my channel and you would like to see uh, more stuff coming out thank you for your patience i'm really really busy with real life so i'm finding it uh, harder to uh, come out with new content uh, more on a regular basis but there you go i hope this build will help you it's not too hard to put together um, even without vma weapons it's really really effective and uh, what you cannot craft it's quite easy to get and quite cheap to buy as well so hopefully this should help you to get started with vma and finally get the vma weapons all right Thank you so much for watching and uh, I'll see you next. Bye.